Hi guys, we kept getting asked when we were going to do some more videos, so here goes. Perfect opportunity with the Euros on. So let's hope you enjoy this video. We have the Betfair prices on the left hand side and the graphs. Home away draw. We have the PMT prices in the middle. We have a draw inflation figure there with a graph. We have the under overs highlighted. And this is what we're going to scalp on this trade. Going to go in and lay over 1.5. Betfair had it at uh, 1.45. PMT had it at 1.47. So laying at the back price, so we're asking for a price. And this is what it'll look like once we get matched. So you can see that if we get matched at 3.15, then we've made £65. So we sit in the queue, keep an eye on the market, keep an eye on what the prices are doing. Unders have been creeping in, you can see. The favourite has been drifting, but looks like it's levelled out now. England, always handy to look at the prices the bookmakers have. If they have the lower scores coming in, then there's every good chance that they'll continue to come in and unders will drop. One nil will be heavily backed. So we're gonna have a little dart on that on the side. And we're starting to be taken, you can see. And we just wait to be uh to be taken. Why do we lay first? Well, most traders like to back first, so we get matched quicker by laying first. And we have pinnacle prices. Pinnacle are normally very good for two or three hours right up to kickoff. We have SBO prices, therefore the Asian markets. Spreads are normally good the day before for early bets. And we can see we've been taken at uh, 1.45. And it's important to keep an eye on the markets because any sudden movements will obviously affect your particular trades and bets. So it just shows you here, you can use the um, what if figure on Betfair. So we're going to go for, there's not a lot of money at 3.2, so let's try that. And what we don't want to see, obviously, is under 2.5 drifting up. If that happens, obviously, under 1.5 will follow and drift up. Under 3.5 will follow. And also the lower scores, they'll also drift up. So we made our initial £20. We got matched there at uh, 3.2. So again, we're just showing you a what-if figure once we get um, taken. Back in at 1.46, not taking the price on offer at 1.47. There'll be loads of people backing over 1.5 in this game, so uh, it's just a case of sitting in the queue. The correct score market usually takes longer to get matched, so personally, Emo and I and a few other traders, we prefer scalping the over-unders. You get taken much quicker. Just recycle the trades over and over, which we're showing you here, and the profits soon build up. And there we go, been taken again. England starting to drift. Now, if England, the favourites, start to drift, what do you think happens with the lower scores? They will, they will start coming down. The draw is coming down, we can see. Draw inflation was low, which is also a good sign that the um, draw will come down. And if the draw comes down, so will lower scores like 0 0, 1 0, 0 1, 1 1. So all of these things are in our favour. Let's see what the previous prices have been sort of traded, what sort of amounts, what sort of volumes. And you can see it's all around sort of 3.15 to 3.25. So 
you know, we're in a good position, providing England don't steam down and get stronger, more of a favourite, then under should continue to drop and we should get, uh, get our trades matched. When do we normally do these trades? Normally about an hour before kickoff. We stick to televised games, um, internationals, European Champions League, Europas. Liquidity is best. We don't mess around with um, games with very little money in. When you do that, you find there are big gaps. You struggle to get matched and you end up taking poor prices. So SBO have just dropped their under 2.5 by a tick. Keeping an eye on the draw inflation. When that's low, 5% or below, what we normally find is that either the draw drops or the uh, underdog, Wales in this case, will drift. Likewise for a high draw inflation when it's 17% or over, what we tend to do is lay the draw because it should drift up and out and or back the underdog. Either both these things will happen or one or the other will. So yeah, we're going back in time and time again. We're just recycling over and over. Unders is dropping, which is good. I don't want to miss out on this. So for a change, I'm actually taking the 1.47 the price on offer. And it looks like there's a good chance to be taken at uh, 3.1. So we're not far from kickoff now. So let's uh, let's get our trades matched, get our profit done, and um, take the green in in the game. Fancy uh, England to win. Fancy both sides to score. And what you don't want to do is take it in play because at some point you will lose and no one likes to lose. So here we go, close to kick off now. There's a massive discrepancy you can see with the 1.5s. And we're up to 68 pounds green on under 1.5. Now we're just going to... Um, so we've got free insurance if the game finishes 0-0, 1-0, 0-1. The backs are 1-1, 2-1. One, one, uh, also got a bit of free money on the 1-0, um, as you can see, £60. And just going to go in and back over 2.5. So basically we're covered on sort of... Um, well, everything except 2-0, uh, 0-2. We're in a good position. This is our um, PMT chat room where we give out advice and tips and information for subscribers. Just rolling it, rolling it on a little bit now, just um, moving on to the other game, which is the Ukraine Northern Ireland game. Just multitasking. Who said us men can't multitask? That's wrong. So this is all before kickoff. England game in the background, watching that, and just looking to sort of do a similar thing on the um, on the Ukraine game. You know, we generally do pretty well out the um, under overs markets. Um, the CS just let run in the background. Normally, I'd be using um, Bet Angel Pro, but for you can see the discrepancy there, we can see on the screen the nil nil is high, that should drop. It's unlikely the unders will, um, will drift back up in a game that's really expected to be a low scorer. So, just back on the England game 1 1, that's good because we've got the, uh, got the 1 1 covered. Um, yes, normally we, um, I personally use um, Bet Angel, Bet Angel Pro. Emo uses uh, the Geeks, 
and uh, one screen will have the PMT auto page that you see there and on my other screen I'll have Bet Angel set up with that particular game and the graphs so I can actually see um, what's taking place um, I'll show you an old screenshot of my setup on Bet Angel at the end of this video so you can see for yourselves and the idea being you can see instantly when there are changes in the market so you can adjust you can um, pull out you can um, go in harder um, get on the end of certain trades backs lays etc so let's just have a look at the 2-0 So it's traded a little bit at 8.2, but normally 8 or under is looking pretty good. And we look at the bookies prices, see what they've got. They've all got sort of around sort of 6 to 7s. So 8 is pretty good. Again, normally it would sort of... Um, sort of advise just sort of backing um, at the lay price but in this particular case I don't really want to miss this so I'm going to sort of split my stakes and do do half of each now because I'm instantly taken at eights submit a lay one tick lower for the same amount same stakes and just sit in the trade and wait now this is our in place scanner and this is our other chat room subscriptions for either site come with access to um, to both rooms so it's good you can uh, open both up you can sort of go from one to the other just having chat about the England game the pressure index facility on the scanner brilliant little bit of kit and um, when that is high there's always a good sign that uh, golds are due in a game and very often do come and make our traders money. There were five shots in the last 10 minutes, as you can see, and a goal has come. So, and this is the scanner, it's a great bit of kit. You can see goal times, you can see um, uh, all sorts of things, the Betfair graphs, you've got um, under overs data, you've got uh, head to heads, you've got breakdowns of stats, you've got free kicks, uh, possession. That's our pressure index indicator. Corners, shots off target, sh shots on target. Audio alerts. Um, you can set it up for email alerts. You can see my little sort of setup there. Um, so when a game hits that criteria, I'll get an email and decide to jump on or not. So um, it's a very popular tool, the, uh, the scanner, and does very well for people. So just uh, England of... 2-1 ahead, brilliant. So we've made plenty of money there on the overs as well, you can see. And that's the beauty when you have pre-match green. You can um, take it in play and uh, it's a bit of fun and you personally, well, end up winning more money.